Hey guys, I'm your host, Anika Chung, Hotel Transylvania 4, directed by Derek Drummond and Jennifer Kuska, and it's starring Brian Hall, Selena Gomez, Andy Samberg, Catherine Han, and Kevin James. Van Helsing's mysterious new invention transforms Dracula and his pals into humans and Johnny into a dragon with their new mismatched bodies. Dracula and his friends must find a way to switch themselves back and forth the transformation becomes permanent. Will they succeed? Let's talk about it. This movie was actually a lot of fun to watch. I find some of the scenes to be hilarious. It was pretty cool seeing Dracula and his friends transform into humans and Johnny being a dragon, but I must say, Frankenstein was actually the best looking one out of the bunch. He was so obsessed with his looks. When Frankenstein was flirting with her, she freaked out and screamed. That was pretty hilarious. The way how she screamed, I was like, wow. <laughs> Come on, it's your husband. Like, she didn't give him any time of day. Like, although he was so obsessed with his look, she was like, nah, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> she actually liked how her husband was before. I also want to address that Dracula was actually being unfair to Johnny. He lied to him about that you have to be a monster in order to own the hotel, making up some real estate monster law. It was really because he was scared that once he gives the key to Mavis, that Johnny is gonna ruin the hotel and ruin his image. You know, that he's made this hotel glorious, you know, for all the monsters to come to. Not realizing that when he does this, he's also lying to Mavis and the people that he loves, including his fiance. <laughs> I guess Dracula being a human and spending time with Johnny in the deep terrain in the Amazon, finding this rare special diamond that will transform them back, made him realize that he had a great son-in-law and that he needed to definitely set things right. And also being a human was fun, but being a monster is cooler. The best part about Hotel Transylvania 3 and 4 was the gremlins. I couldn't stop laughing. It's the way how they acted. It definitely added a little spice to the film, especially when they are flying in the plane and their behavior is so similar to the 90s film, which is one of my favorite movies. One of the funniest scenes was when Drac was feeling really sick on the plane, and as he ran to the back, you know, and talking to the female gremlin, and she's like, oh, you're feeling sick? Not a problem then, you know, making it even worse for him. That was hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing at that. <laughs> the animation was truly on point, visually appealing. What was lacking in this film was definitely the story. I think the story is okay with the concept, but it could have been better. Monsters dancing into modern pop culture songs. It doesn't really zing to me. I'd say keep it Transylvania music fun and spooky. I like the first film, the third one, but the fourth did not really zing, zing, zing when my heart sings. It did not really do that for me. <laughs> I had to say that. When I found out that Adam Sandler was not going to be the voice of Drac in this fourth film, First, I didn't believe it at first because I seen the trailer and the voice is so similar. It's actually voiced by Brian Hall. He's an amazing voice actor. He can do almost any voice, almost like a thousand voices, just like Mel Blanc. He was great as Dracula and the rest of the voice actors. They were really cool. When I worked in customer service, I've actually met a few amazing people that can do some serious voices such as Bugs Bunny, Mickey Mouse, and they did them like so well. That actually brightened my day. I think I remember one time someone did the voice of Stewie Griffin and he actually was ordering Starbucks. It was actually cool though. I loved it. That definitely brightened up my day. There's one thing I gotta say to you voice actors out there. Thank you so much for coming into restaurants, grocery stores, and coming in character with uh, impersonations of Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, all those characters. It truly brightens up everyone's day, especially when they hear a character that they love. But I just wanna say, guys, thank you so much. And keep doing it, honestly, the world needs laughter. Thank you for being a friend. Rest in peace, Bay White. I just have to say that. She's my favorite too. I hope Hotel Transylvania 5 will be better. I would love if they can incorporate the Adams family as their neighbors. Like seriously, I would love to see that. Wednesday having fun with Mavis. That would be cool, y'all. I'm just saying. And Gomez having a fun time with Johnny and maybe Drac having fun with Adams. How cool would that be? Seriously, I would love to see that. And what do you guys think about uh, this film? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next motion picture or trailer review. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next pictures. Cheers, and that is a wrap. Cheers.
Tell us, what's your dream job? Darling, I've told you several times before, I have no dream job, I do not dream of labor.